As we enter the busiest time of the year for shopping, supply chain issues around the world are causing some items to be unavailable or really hard to get. WKRG News 5's Nicolette Schleisman joins us now live in the studio. And Nicolette, local small business owners are saying it's best to buy early. Yeah, that's exactly right, Roseanne. They say if you see something you like while you're out shopping, go ahead and buy it. Lush in Mobile is full of holiday decor and home furnishings. Thank you so much. But this year, they say their supply of decor is limited. In years past, we would receive our holiday merchandise in August, uh, September, start putting it out, and if it's a really good item, a hit, we know we reorder in October and November. This year, we didn't get the merchandise until late October, early November, so it's here, and when this round is gone, that's it. One of their most popular items. And it's a great gift. These Gulf Coast themed candles. But this year, owner Tim Burt says they may have to rebrand. My jar is made in China. Everything else is poured in Birmingham. Uh, it's made local. That jar we can't get. It's out in an ocean somewhere. So now I've got to make the decision, do I completely change the packaging and start fresh, or do I hold off and just say we're out of stock? Experts say it is best to buy early this holiday season, as many stores across the nation are having some difficulty getting supplies, especially electronics and toys. And the issues are going to take some time to right themselves. But there is hope. During the COVID period, for about 18 months, supply chains were slower. Now they're speeding up, and um, we're trying to catch up. Demand is there. As Bert is gearing up for a busy shopping season, he says he's thankful for the loyalty of his customers. That means so much to us. So, yeah, we've had a lot of support this year and years past for lots of reasons. Now, experts also say the sales that were used to be seen around this time of year may not be as big as usual. Live in the studio, Nicolette Schleisman, WKRG News 5.